Peace and greetings, family. I wanted to address some questions that I saw uh, a few few weeks ago, and it's been a repeated question about um, if I am a Muslim, am I a Muslim in the nation of Islam? A lot of people made references to the clothing that I wear, the garments, the hats that I wear. So I wanted to address that as well. One, I am a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in the Nation of Islam under the guidance and the wisdom and the teachings of Minister Louis Farrakhan. Now, the women in the Nation of Islam, we call ourselves the MGT. Now, what does MGT and GCC stands for? It stands for Muslim Girl Training and General Civilization Class. This was the name given to the training of the women and girls in North America. In this training, we are taught how to keep house, how to rear our children, how to take care of our husbands, how to sew and how to cook, and in general, how to act at home and abroad. Now, the garments that you see that I have on, um, typically I wear a tam, but today I have on my headpiece. Now, as a Muslim, women, we cover our heads, we cover our bodies, we, we dress modestly and we dress conservatively. Why do we dress modest, modestly and conservatively? Because one, the form and the image of a woman's body is beautiful. Our hair and everything else that's underneath our clothes are accessories and adornments. And so a lot, you have a lot of people out there. I don't know if you heard Minister Farrakhan's Breakfast Club uh, interview this past week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, where he talked about um, the beautiful uh, aspect of the woman, not only just her body, but her mind and everything else about her. We are considered the second self of God. And so, you know, in the nation of Islam, a lot of the teachings are are with the women. Why are they with the women? Because it's through the woman that we'll see the reformation and the transformation of the world that we're living in now. You know, this world is, be honest with you, has gone to hell. And so it is through the woman and through the teachings of the woman and the training of the woman that we'll be able to see a new civilization. Now, when we talk about the training of the woman, many of us can relate to our grandmothers who knew how to cook, who knew how to sew, who knew how to take care of their children, who knew how to take care of their husband. But when you look at the new generation of women that are coming up now, that those skills have been lost. Not that in the nation of Islam, we're subservient to our men, not that we're some slave to our men. No, not at all. We believe that the man is a degree above the woman. However, that we can fulfill whatever our role is is as long as um, we don't disrespect ourselves. The home is not necessarily our place, but it is our, our base. And so in the Nation of Islam, you'll see many women who are doctors and lawyers and leaders. You know, Sister Ava Muhammad was our first imam in the Nation of Islam, first female imam in the Muslim world, period. So, you know, I just wanted to uh, give, allow this to be a teaching moment um, for those who had any questions about um, who I am, why do I wear such clothes that I do. Um, and so if you have any more comments or more questions about who I am as a woman and what we do in the Nation of Islam, Islam, you can talk to me personally. Um, you can inbox me at sadia.evangelista at gmail.com. You can go to inbox me uh, through Facebook. You can inbox me through Instagram. I have no problems being able to um, help you understand what it is about the women in the nation of Islam. However, if you're trolling and if you have negative comments, then you can keep that to yourself. And as always, if you teach a man, you teach an individual. But when you teach a woman, you teach civilization and a nation cannot rise higher than its woman. Thank you.